Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Lockdown. It is the morning of day 12 and uh, as always, let's go ahead and spend some skill points this morning. We have two of them. So I'm going to go into Dead Eye, which will increase the damage we can do with rifles. It will also allow us to craft a better rifle. Uh, and let's put the other point into Perception so we can continue upgrading Dead Eye uh, moving forward. And once we get to maybe a level 4 rifle, we'll go ahead and craft that sniper rifle. Now, I want to finish up this section of the floor this morning. And then I want to go into every watchtower and knock out the ladder. Uh, there's a ladder in each in each watchtower. And we need to make sure that there is absolutely no way the zombies can get up to us tonight. Because that's pretty much what we're doing tonight. We're just going to hang out on the bars and shoot down on the zombies and see how it goes. Pretty much how I used to handle hordes. You know, just get up off the ground and shoot down on them. Uh, so it's going to be kind of an old school uh, horde fight tonight. Hopefully all goes well. Uh, but when we're done doing a little bit of work here, we're going to go on uh, Trader Run. We're, we'll go see Trader Wrecked, which is in town here. And then we'll go see Trader Joel. He is to the northeast. And if we have any money left over after Trader Joel, we'll go see Trader Jen. And we'll also try and squeeze in some looting today as well. Oh shit, I'm dropping iron here. That's because our inventory is full. I have everything on me that I want to sell to the trader. All right, we're going to have to drop a couple things off in storage real quick. So we can pick up this iron. Yeah, I don't want to scrap anything. All right. Okay, that eliminates all the ways the zombies could get up to where we'll be standing tonight. Now I got some concrete on me. Let's finish upgrading the outer wall here, and then we'll hit the road. Let's check our vending machine over at the girls' club first. Maybe we'll get lucky and there'll be some sugar butt candy in here. We can get a better deal on all the shit we're gonna sell, and there's not. Too bad. All right, let's go see Wrecked. We'll check his vending machine first before we do our dealings with him and see if we can get lucky there. Nope, Skull Crushers, though, I'll buy both of those. Even though we're not gonna be doing much melee tonight. Still good to have, I guess. What up, Wrecked? Let's see what we got here. 9mm. I'll buy it all. 762. I can't buy it all. Alright, we'll sell them some things here. I'm not going to sell them everything, just in case Trader Joel has. Um, oh, I'm going to buy that crippling shot. But if Trader Joel has uh, a sugar butt candy, then we can. We can take that and make a little bit more money on all this stuff we're going to sell. But it looks like I'm going to have to sell Wrecked a bunch of shit anyway to be able to buy his stuff. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Take all these shotgun shells. Take this gunpowder. Son of a bitch. Probably should just sell Wrecked everything. Who gives a shit, right? Let's buy this gunpowder. More shotgun shells. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to sell some stuff here. It is what it is. There we go. I want this buckshot too, though. Don't have enough money for that. Alright, that's plenty. Bullet tips. I'll take them. I think that's it. Let's check his stash. Wasteland treasures. Sinks. No, I'm good there. Level 2 pump shotgun. I don't think... We need that. I do want the shotgun ammo, though. Let's sell a few more things here. There we go. And lucky looter. Find more junk in loot. Um, okay. I'll take that. There we go. And that's it. I'll see you later, Wrecked. Let's read these books. The Lucky Looter book and the Ranger's Guide book. And we still have a decent amount of things to sell Trader Joel. So if he has the sugar butt candy... And his vending machine, great. If not, it's not a big deal. And when we're done doing our dealings with him, we'll see how much money we have left. 
If we have enough to uh, justify a ride all the way out to Trader Gen's, then we'll take that. If not, not a big deal. We can go see Trader Gen tomorrow. Instead, we'll do some looting. Maybe uh, I want to do some mining. We need to pick up nitrate powder and coal so we can get gunpowder crafting tonight. And then get home at a decent hour because I think I want to build a little staircase next to one of the walls. Um, and then basically connect that staircase to the wooden bars with two frames, two wooden frames. This way that will give the zombies a way to get up to where we are. And then as they're jumping up the staircase, we can pull the wooden frames. So they can't actually get to us, but it will create a place where the zombies will gather in, in one area. You know what I'm saying? Because if we don't do that then they're just going to be all over the place. They're going to be outside of the prison, beating on the walls. They're going to be running all over the inside of the prison. It's going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, so if we can create a way or a place for them to gather, uh, that would be good. Oh, you know what? We're riding right past the house on the hill here, and someone mentioned that I should have run in the place and looted the library, which is a great idea. I forgot about that. There is a nice-sized library in this place. So let's do that. We'll just go straight to the library, raid it, and get out of here. Now, uh, better deal with these zombies first. Come on out of there. Oh, runner. Yeah, lay down. Uh, get your head out of the stairs. Come on, that's some bullshit. All right, here we are. Usually some zombies up here, so let's deal with them first. Ah, green guy! Fuck off. Here comes Big Mama slowly creeping down the ladder. All right, green guy's dead. Oh, out of stamina. Sometimes I forget, uh, shooting... Shooting guns actually uh, reduces your stamina a bit, which I guess is understandable. God damn it, Big Mama. Fuck. Let's see what we got in here. Purse. Oh, some cash. Forget the grain alcohol, I don't need it. We'll sell that cash to Trader Joel, though. Um, uh, serrated blade, mod schematic. Couple of books right here. Urban combat cigars, nice. We'll have to craft one of those. Coyotes, do 10% more damage against coyotes, nice. Batter up. 10% more damage with clubs, another really good one. Couple of more right here. Party starter. Targets with full health take 20% more damage with shotguns. Nice. Spear hunter. Eh, well, we don't really use spears in this series, so not a big deal. Uh, Grave digger mod and the batter up we already read, but I will sell that, so we'll bring it down. Leather chest armor schematic. These are all empty. Uh, another book we've already read, so we'll bring it down. We'll sell that. Another one we already read. Uh, is that it for down here? I think so. Let's get up here now. Another one we already read. Uh, let's check this duffel bag. Scrap the can. Don't need the shirt. Is that it? No, one more. Lucky looter. Uh, find more ammo in loot. That's a good one. All right, there should be a crate out here. It's a Shamway Foods crate, whatever. We'll search it anyway. Eat that. And let's get out of here. Now, to craft a cigar, what do we need? I know we need grass fiber or plant fiber and paper and testosterone extract, which we don't have. Um, maybe we can find a bear on our way to Trader Joel's, because we can get testosterone extract from killing a bear. We need to kill a bear, a boar, a stag, a rabbit, and a chicken for one of the challenges we picked up. Haven't seen a bear, though, surprisingly. They're usually pretty common in the burnt forest, but literally haven't seen one this entire series so far. There's a rabbit. We can check this off our list. Oh, come on. There we go. 
I like candy. I'll take that. I'm good on the skull crushers, though. We already bought two of those today. We don't need another one. What up, Joel? Oh, wait, your bookcase. Forgot to search this last time. There we go. Wasteland treasures. Honey. Honey can now be harvested from trees. That's really good. And a bipod mod schematic. All right, Joel. Now, I should just go ahead and sell him all this shit. Fuck it. If he's got a good amount of stuff, I don't think we'll be making it out to Trader Gens. We only have, what, 4,500 coin? Got some gunpowder. 762. It's got a robotic sledge, but I'm good on that. If it was a junkie, that'd be a different story. Um, okay, let's check his stash. 9mm? Bam. Magnum Enforcer, no. Automatic Weapons Handbook, um, yeah, I'll take that. Less degradation for automatic weapons. And, uh, we can't nice afford the contact grenade again. schematic. Let's read this book. And let's get out of here. Trader Jens is gonna have to wait until maybe tomorrow. Uh, let's just head back to our town. We'll keep a lookout for coal and nitrate powder along the way. I'd like to mine both of those things. And then, uh, if we're gonna do some looting, I'd like to do it back in our town. Just so we know, uh, we can get home quickly. Chicken? Bam! Well, fucking crack shot when it comes to chickens. That's two animals crossed off the list. I'll harvest the ore on the surface here for this nitrate powder, but I don't want to start digging a hole right next to the prison here. What I will do, though, is once we get the mine opened up below the prison, I'll start digging in this direction, and we know we'll hit nitrate powder. Let me drop a few things off here, and then uh, we'll get back out there, see if we can find an ore of nitrate powder that isn't so close to home. Okay, special tots it is. I wanted to do some raiding today, and this is real close to home. We already searched that school bus. Uh, you're supposed to go in through the back entrance, but we're just going to break right in through the front door here. Here we go. Uh, principal's awake. Not much in here. I will take the smoothie, though, because we are hungry and thirsty, and the smoothie provides both hunger and thirst. Nothing there. Who sawed off shotgun mod? Gas can recipe, which I'll read. We already know it. Batter up gear. Uh, take 5% less damage when you're wearing, like, the, the number jacket and the hat or whatever. Crippling shot uh, for sniper. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, I'll read that, even though we already know it. I'm not going to hang on to a bunch of those recipes. It's different if we're, like, on the way to the trader. Then I'll hold on to them. There's the letter jacket. I guess I'll take that. Scrap this other shirt. All right. Um, anything here? No? Oh. Got some zombies coming down the stairs. She's a runner. Lay down, lady. Okay. She down. He's down. She's dead. And he's dead. Just that easy. Uh, that door's locked. Let's pop it open. This is the room we were supposed to start in. Scrap both of those things. I can search this desk. More sewing kits. All right, we got to go upstairs. Waking someone up. Oh, I just saw Kenny fall down from the ceiling in the bathroom. She's dead. She's a runner. Chill, lady. Oh, took her head off. Beautiful. Definitely getting uh, a lot more runners in POIs, which is good. I mean, it's not good, but it's exciting.
Empty can and some nitrate powder, and it looks like we're climbing up here. Run right past these tiles that are going to give way. Let's take this uh, AC unit apart real quick. Get some parts out of this, plus a radiator. Here we go. Dropping down in here. Got some books. Let's close this door. Just some paper. There's a plug right here. Backpack. Herbal antibiotics. I'll take that. Oh! That's got to be coming from the other room. Ooh, wall safe. Alright, let's finish looting the books in this room. Then we got the wall safe. Paper. 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 Fucking paper. Alright. That's it. Let's crack into this safe. Now, I do have an idea for the prison. Um, and it's a, it's a pretty good idea, I think. It won't, be, uh, it won't take that long to build. And I think it'll do well. But we're going to do something completely different tonight. Like I said, we're going to build that little staircase and we're just going to kind of run around and uh, play it wild and have some fun. Hopefully it works out. Nothing stupid or crazy happens. And then starting tomorrow, we'll start working on an actual way to make this place a base. Uh, weapon, flashlight, mod. We don't really need that, but we can throw it on a weapon that we're going to sell and it will increase the value. So, uh, starting tomorrow, we'll start working on making this, making it like, uh, making an actual base out of the prison. Instead of just, you know, running around on the bars all night. Which is a fun way to do it, but it will get, if you don't have a way to... Um, I don't know, bring the zombies to you, then your base is just going to take a shit ton of damage, and it's going to take you all night to kill the zombies, which is probably what's going to happen tonight. We'll just see how it goes. You know, is this a plug? I don't know. But I just want you guys to know that I do have a plan moving forward. It's not going to be just doing what we're doing tonight. Tonight's more of just like, let's have fun. Whoops. Yeah, you don't get as much arrow drop with the wooden bow. Now he's pissed. Now he's dead. You want some too, lady? There you go. Alright. Grab our arrows back here. Grab this stash. Some more Altoids. Oh, nice. Look at this. Steel club. Take a look at that and see if it's any better than our level 4 baseball bat. Let's grab the... Let's pop these crates open first, though. Golden rod, T. Nice. Whole bunch of parts. Let's take a look at this. 30 melee damage, 56 power attack. Oh, shit. It is better than the baseball bat. The baseball bat can hold two mods, but with, even with the mods in there, the, the steel club is better. So I'm going to put the flaming mod on the steel club, which will make it even better. And that's what we'll roll with for now. All right. Let's uh, take these solar panels apart. Harvest this dog. There's also an AC unit we can take apart, and we'll get out of here. We'll see if we can find some nitrate powder, do a little more mining, and then we'll get home and start getting ready for the horde. Now, let's make a couple of wooden frames. Bring those down. And just like that, the zombies will have a way up to us. Let's go ahead and upgrade this staircase. I probably should have upgraded the floor before I put this staircase down, but that's okay. This is just temporary. Uh, I will upgrade the floor around this staircase, though. I don't expect any demolishers to show up tonight, but... 
You never know when you're running double XP with this many hordes, you know, every three days. I definitely expect some cops to show up to, uh, tonight. But uh, in terms of demo if demolishers show up tonight, we're fucked, man. That that's just like we're in trouble. If they're showing up on day 12, uh, moving forward, it's going to be pretty devastating because we haven't even really started building our base yet. I've got some more concrete, so I'm going to start upgrading the outer wall to reinforced concrete. I don't expect them to be attacking the outer wall tonight because I'm leaving a way in. I'm leaving the front entrance wide open. Uh, I want them to come in, you know, come straight in, go for the staircase, and uh, let me focus all of my firepower on you. When, when the crowd gets too big, we pull up the wooden frames, and they'll start to scatter at that point, and that's fine. We'll put in some more work. And then we'll put the wooden frames back, let them all come and start to accumulate at the staircase again. We'll get in a little bit more work, pull the wooden frames, rinse and repeat until the horde's dead. It sounds simple, but knowing me, it'll, it'll go to shit at some point for some reason. We have one Molotov, which uh, will be easy to make use of when they're all gathered around the staircase. We have ten pipe bombs. Um, Got some iron arrows, the pistol, the shotgun, the AK. We should be fine tonight. I got a couple of skill points. I was going to go in Boomstick again, but I, I'm thinking Machine Gunner instead because we haven't put a point in there. Uh, let me think about it, and we'll do it before the Horde starts. Okay, let's go machine gunner. Uh, where is it? Here. Machine gunner, and then I'll put another point into fortitude. Alright. Wood frames are in place, let's go. Come on up the steps. I was gonna try and uh, melee them for a minute, but let's not get cocky. Oh, spider zombie. Let's see what happens if we just pick up one of these frames. They should still come up this way, because they can make a one-block jump. Seems like they are. Might be the better way to play it. Because then they got to slow down even more to make this jump, you know what I mean? Either way, oh shit. Cop. Oh, look at this guy. Making a two-block jump. Go him, he must be wearing his Nikes tonight. Cop's dead. Uh, let's get a pipe bomb down there. Oh, I always forget to light the first one. That second one should set off the first one, though. It did. Making a couple of more frames. Uh, let's get this Molotov down there. At the foot of the steps. Okay. Put these frames back in place. Oh, shit. A fucking flaming spider monkey. Let's go. This is, this is working out. I think there are some tacking the wall, though. Yeah. They're, now they're, tri they're trickling their way in now that the frames are back in place. See, without the frames in place, they're, they're just, you know, they might end up attacking the outside wall, and, and I don't want them doing that. So, when, when the actual base is built... Oh, not good. Yeah, see, I get a little sloppy. Oh, that... This has to be repaired before I can pick it up. Um, yeah, when we build the actual base and we want the zombies to come inside the prison, I'll probably open up the entire front entrance to this place. Or maybe make entrances on, on all sides. Because I don't want them beating on the walls for no reason. Well, so far, so good. We're only an hour in, but we've had two cops show up, which is not bad. Spider zombies were expected. No birds fucking with us yet, which is good. Damn it, Kenny. So, overall, not too bad. Uh, as you can see, the zombies start to spread out when these wooden frames are not in place. But once we get them back in, they come right back for the steps. Oh, another cop. So the plan... Is working out. Another cop. Dead. 
I was going to try and get some melee action in. See if I can just whack them off the steps when they get to the top. Get out of here, lady. <laughs> it's perfect. Come on, you fucks. Oh, that didn't work. Get out of here. Give me those frames. Fuck off. Oh, shit. Come on, upgrade it. Oh, I was only able to get it to the first level of wood. They're going to end up destroying that. For some reason, they're attacking the block at the bottom. It's probably because they bottleneck at the bottom there. So when the zombies can't jump on that first block because there are other zombies on it, they get frustrated and they attack it. And they destroyed it. And they just destroyed that wooden one already. So they're, um, they're destroying their only way up to me. Which is ruining my fucking plan. There we go. Oh, Kenny, what are you doing? I think he jumped on another zombie's head. Found his way up here. Oh, that frame needs to be repaired. Oh, shit. No, I don't want that dog finding his way up here. Um, yeah, let's uh, do... Oh, I can't put that there. Is it because of the loot bag? All right. Here we go. Bam. Now, they destroyed that block again. Let's see if we can get one in place. Oh, shit. Something just puked at me. Had to have been a cop, right? I don't know where he's at. It wasn't a vulture, right? I don't see any vultures. Let's kill these dogs. Oh, there he is. Shit, he blew up. Ruined my floor that I've worked so hard on. We gotta get this floor upgraded to reinforced concrete. It's gonna require a lot of concrete. Probably need to make a third mixer. Let's get another frame crafted. And let's lead these zombies away from the steps. Maybe we can do like a big loop here. This way, uh, hopefully, we have time to get down there and get a frame installed at the bottom of the steps. Because right now, they don't have a way to get to me, so they're just kind of running around aimlessly. Which uh, is what I was trying to avoid. I mean, I don't mind it for a little bit, but I don't want the rest of the night to be like this. So let's get back there really quickly. Okay. Come on. Okay, upgrade. Uh, that's gonna have to do. Shit, I don't have any cobblestone. We can always go grab some. Whatever. It's not a big deal. The horde is not too bad. Like I said, the worst thing we've seen is, uh, well, these dogs now. And the cops that have shown up, but there wasn't too many of them. And they're pretty easy to take out, to be honest. Oh, look at this guy again making the two-block jump. Oh, shit. There's our first bird. Well, there are currently too many loot bags and dead bodies right now to put a frame down. Let's get a pipe bomb down there since we got a little group. There we go. Oh, that guy fell. Okay. We're looking all right. We are looking all right. Even with the, them not having a way to get to me, they still seem to be piling up in this uh, general area, so that's not bad. Are they on this side of the wall? Yeah, what the hell are you guys doing? There's a way in. Why are you fucking with my wall? Let's grab some more pipe bombs. I would have made more Molotovs, but we don't have that much gas. And uh, I don't know where the desert is, so until we can mine oil shale, I don't want to be making Molotovs. Oh my god, look what they're doing here. 
These crazy fucks. Look at this. They are making their own way up to me. Fucking zombies. Um, you know what we should do? We need to go grab some flagstone blocks. That's what I should have been using to try and fix the steps instead of trying to get a wood frame down there and upgrade it. Could have just dropped a flagstone block down there. Let's go repair this mess they've made. There we go. That fixes the step problem for now. Uh-oh. Getting a little out of control. There is one frame still in place there, so they can get to me, technically. Let's go pick it up. Actually, we're fine. Let's put another one in place. Oh, I need a frame, not... I don't want to put a flagstone block down there. See if we can slip a pipe bomb down there. All right. <laughs> I don't. I couldn't tell how many people got damaged. Holy shit! This is not good. This is really not good. Let's get behind this door. Getting way too cocky and comfortable. Oh, well, let's run. The frames are still in place. Oh, damn it. 39 hit points. All right. Shit, we got to get out of this area. Let's use a bandage. Obviously, use, use a painkiller as well. There we go. Um, The frames are still in place. I don't know if the... Uh, oh, shit. The mega crushes are in my tool belt. Okay, now we can run. Ow. Now, this is more like a Glock 9 video. This is old school Glock 9 right here, running around like a fucking maniac, getting the shit kicked out of me. Let's bring him back good memories. Here we are in the courtyard. This is not the best place to be. <laughs> Look at this fucking mess. Um, I don't know if their steps are still in place or not. I know there are two frames, though, connecting to the wooden bars, so if the steps are in place, that means they can get to me. I think they are. We gotta take care of that. We gotta make it so they can't get up here. And then we can jump down, get them to follow me, and then get back up here and we'll be alright, because, yeah, see? This is not good. This is not good. Oh, the wooden frames are damaged. I can't pick them up. Hammer. Duh. Ah, shit. Oh, I got one. Fucking hell. Alright, it's not, it's not so bad. We're okay. I really could use a first aid kit right now. And we don't have any of those. We need to find the first aid kit schematic. Or we need to go... Oh, shit! That was a mistake. Did not mean to do that. Um, we need to find a, a poppin' pills to raid. Be nice if we could find the damn hospital. You never, I never find a hospital in a random gen world. This is pre-gen, so there should be a hospital in this world somewhere. Be nice to know where. Okay. This sword's got to be coming to an end. It's fucking three thirty in the morning already. I mean, it's gonna be morning anyway soon, and there'll be and then there'll be walkers, and then we can just jump down there and deal with them with the club. They did quite a, a good amount of damage to the prison tonight, but nothing we can't fix. This was not the most practical way to deal with the Horde, that's for sure, but it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed myself tonight. Like I said, this is old school. This is bringing back memories of why I love this game in the first place. Alright, well, it's morning. I can't believe we spent- Oh! The fuck was that? Anyway, we got zombies outside the prison still. Uh, I can't believe we spent the entire night fighting this horde. That's alright. Um, we can go ahead and just hop down there, I guess. Deal with the rest of them with the club. There might be some runners. If there are any feral zombies down here, they're gonna remain runners. 
But for the most part, they all look like walkers. Alright, that should be it. Let's go ahead and eat this eye candy. Grab these loot bags and uh, call it an episode. Son of a bitch, they just don't know when to quit. Hey, party's over. These motherfuckers. Really testing my patience. All right, well, let me get a few things put away here, and then we will pick things up on the morning of day 13. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Lockdown, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.